Case Study 7.3 recognizes a fundamental point in the history of science, and that is Michael Faraday invented electrochemistry. But Michael Faraday also invented or discovered and used electromagnetic induction. So electromagnetic induction allows us to couple an electrochemical reaction, a battery, or any source of voltage, to a mechanical device that produces work, namely an electric motor. And the remarkable thing about an electric motor is that it's about 95% efficient in converting energy contained in the flow of electrons to mechanical work. That it turns out in the future of the balance between energy production and climate to be profoundly important because electric motors waste very, very little energy. So let's take a look at how this works. Fundamentals of how an electric motor operate comes from the very simple fact that if I fire a positive charge into a magnetic field, and here we have a north and a south pole, so by convention, the magnetic field goes from north to south, the motion, the velocity of that positive charge into that magnetic field creates a force that deflects that charge. And we can use the right-hand rule to determine what that direction is, because if I point my fingers in the direction of the positive charge and I rotate my fingers into the direction of the magnetic field, the force on that positive charge follows the direction of my thumb. That's the right-hand rule. Now, the only thing we have to remember is that if it's an electron, it's a negative charge. So that drives the negative charge in exactly the opposite direction. But the principle is the same, and that is when a charge moves through a magnetic field, a force is generated deflecting that charged particle. OK, so how do we build an electric motor from this? Well, the first thing we recognize is that if I place a wire through a magnetic field, and in this case, the magnetic field is going into the plane of the diagram, that is represented by an X, which represents the tail of that magnetic field. And if I then introduce a current, which is the flow of electrons through that magnetic field, that generates a force on that wire. Well, that's interesting because a force can be turned into a torque, and a torque can turn a shaft, and a shaft can do work, just as the crankshaft in a gasoline engine does work. So let's look at how we can construct an electric motor. So this was another genius of Michael Faraday. And by the way, Michael Faraday was the inventor of electrochemistry and of the electric motor. And so it's quite reasonable that we teach this subject as a, as a coupled unit. But quite often, electrochemistry is broken out into a chemistry course, and electromagnetic induction enters the physics domain. But it's the same person that created both. So it's very wise to join the two, which is what we do. So let's take this basic principle of a current being passed through a wire. And when that is passed across a magnetic field, it generates a force. Well, that force, if it's properly coupled, creates a torque on the shaft. And it turns out that the design of these electric motors shifts the position of, of the current such that a torque is always applied to that shaft. But that means that we can convert a flow of electrons by virtue of the voltage created by an electrochemical cell into a motor that can do work. And as I mentioned before, the most important thing is that that execution of energy to work is done with 95, 96% efficiency by an electric motor.